Part 23 What is it for me that I worship not him who has originated me and to whom you will be returned? Will I take gods to myself other than he, when if the merciful wants any harm for me, their intercession will not avail me at all, nor will they save me? Truly, I would then be clearly going astray. Truly, I have believed in your Lord, so hear me. It was said, Enter the garden. He said, O oh, would that my folk had known that my Lord has forgiven me, and made me one who was honored. After him we sent not forth on his folk an army from heaven, nor would we be ones who send forth. It had been but one cry, and that is when they were ones who are silent and still. Oh, how regrettable of the servants! A messenger approaches them not, but they had been ridiculing him. Have they not considered how many generations we caused to perish before them, who truly return not to them? And truly, all of them will be altogether ones who are charged in our presence. And a sign for them is the dead body of the earth. We gave life to it, and we brought out grain from it, so that they ate from it. We have made in them gardens of date palm trees and grapevines, and we have caused a spring to gush forth in it, so that they may eat of the fruits from there that are not what their hands have done. Will they not then give thanks? Glory be to him who created pears, all of them, of what the earth causes to develop as well as themselves, and of what they know not. And a sign for them is the night time. We pluck the daytime from it, and that is when they are in darkness, and the sun runs to a resting place for it. That is foreordained by the Almighty, the knowing. And for the moon we have ordained mansions until it reverted like a ripe, aged, dry date stalk. It is not fit and proper for the sun to overtake the moon, nor the night time to take the lead over the daytime. They each swim in an orbit. A sign for them is that we carried their offspring in a laden boat, and we have created for them of its like that they ride, and if we will, we may drown them. There will be none whom they cry aloud for help for them, nor will they be saved, unless it be a mercy from us and an enjoyment for a while. And when it was said to them, Be God-fearing of what is in advance of you and what is behind you, so that perhaps you would find mercy, there never approaches them any sign from the signs of their Lord, but they had been ones who turn aside from it. And when it was said to them, Spend of whatever God has provided you, those who were ungrateful said to those who had believed, Will we feed him whom he would have fed if he wills? You are nothing but in a clear going astray. And they say, When is this promise if you have been ones who are sincere? They expect but one cry, which will take them while they strive against one another. Then they will not be able to leave a legacy, nor will they return to their people. And the trumpet would be blown. That is when they will be sliding down to their Lord from their tombs. They would say, Woe on us! Who has raised us up from our place of sleep? This is what the merciful had promised, and the ones who were sent were sincere. The cry will be but one. That is when they will be in our presence altogether, ones who were charged. Today wrong will not be done to any soul at all, nor will you be given recompense but for what you had been doing. Truly, the companions of the garden that day are ones who are joyful in their engagements, they and their spouses, in shade on raised benches, ones who are reclining. They will have in it sweet fruits, and they will have whatever they call for, peace, a saying from the compassionate Lord. And be separated on this day, O ones who sin. Made I not a compact with you, O children of Adam, that you not worship Satan? Truly he is a clear enemy, and that you should worship me. This is a straight path, and certainly 
he caused to go astray many an array of you. Be you not then reasonable. This is hell which you had been promised. Roast in it this day because you had been ungrateful. On this day we will set a seal on their mouths, and their hands will speak to us, and their feet will bear witness to what they had been earning. And if we will, we would certainly have obliterated their eyes. Then they would race towards the path, yet how would they have perceived? And if we will, we would certainly have transformed their ability. Then they would not have been able to pass on, nor would they return. And he to whom we gave a long life, we bent him over in his constitution. Will they not then be reasonable? We have not taught him poetry, nor is it fit and proper for him. It is but a remembrance and a clear recitation to warn whomever has been living, and that the saying may be realized against the ones who are ungrateful. Have they not considered how we have created for them out of what our hands have done flocks? So have they become of them ones who are owners? And we have subdued them for them, so that of them some are riding animals, and some of them they eat, and they have profits from them and a drinking place. Will they not then give thanks? And they have taken to themselves gods other than God, so that perhaps they would be helped. They are not able to help them while they are to them as a charged army. So let not their saying dishearten you. Truly, we know what they keep secret and what they speak openly. Has the human being not considered that we created him from seminal fluid? That is when he becomes a clear adversary. He propounds parables for us and forgot his own creation. He said, Who will give life to these bones when they have decayed? Say, He will give life to them who caused them to grow the first time, and he is the knowing of every creation. It is he who makes for you the fire out of a green tree. That is when you kindle from it. Is not he who created the heavens and the earth one who has the power to create the like of them? Yea, and he is the knowing creator. Truly his command when he wanted a thing is but to say to it, Be, then it is. Then glory be to him in whose hand is the kingdom of everything, and to him you will be returned. Chapter 37 The Ones Standing in Ranks In the Name of God, the Merciful, the Compassionate By the ones standing in ranks, ranged in rows, then those who scare in a scaring, then ones who recount the remembrance, truly your God is certainly one, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, and whatever is between them, and the Lord of the sunrise. Truly, we have made to appear pleasing the present heaven with the adornment of the stars, and kept safe from every emboldened Satan. They pay no attention to the lofty council, for they are hurled at from every edge, rejected, and for them is a punishment, that which lasts forever. But for him who snatches a fragment, then a piercing flame pursued him. So ask them for advice. Are they stronger in constitution or those others whom we have created? Truly, we have created them of clinging clay. Nay, thou hast marveled while they derided. And when they were reminded, they remember not. And when they see a sign, they scoff at it. And they say, This is not but clear sorcery. Is it when we are dead and have become earth dust and bones that we will truly be ones who are raised up and also our fathers, the ancient ones? Say, yes, you will be ones who will be in a state of lowliness. There will be only one scare. So when they will be looking on it, they will say, Woe to us! This is the day of judgment. This is the day of decision which you had been denying. Assemble those who did wrong and their spouses and what they had been worshipping other than God and guide them to the path to hellfire and stop them 
for they are ones who are to be asked, What is the matter with you that you help not one another? Nay, they are on that day ones who will resign themselves to submission, and some of them come forward to some others demanding of one another. They would say, Truly you, you had been approaching us from the right. They would say, Nay, you be not ones who believe, and we had not any authority over you. Nay, you had been a folk, ones who are defiant. So the saying was realized against us of our Lord, that truly we will be ones who experience the punishment. So we led you into error. Truly, we had been ones who were in error. Then truly there will be on that day ones who are partners in the punishment. We accomplish truly thus with ones who sin. Truly, when it had been said to them, There is no God but God, they grew arrogant, and they said, Are we ones who leave our gods for a possessed poet? Nay, he has drawn near with the truth, and he established as true the ones who were sent. Truly, you are one who will experience the painful punishment, and you will be given recompense but for what you had been doing. But the devoted servants of God, those for them was unknown provision, sweet fruits, and they will be ones who were honored in the gardens of bliss on couches, ones who face one another. A cup from a spring of water will be passed around, white, a delight to ones who drink it. In that is neither headache, nor are they to be intoxicated by it and with them are ones who are restraining of glance, lovely-eyed, as if they were well-guarded eggs. So some of them will come forward to some others, demanding of one another. One of them who converses would say, Truly, I had a comrade who would say, Art thou of the ones who establish the resurrection as true? When we are dead and have become earth-dust and bones, will we be ones who are judged? He said, Will you be among ones who peruse? So he perused and saw him amidst hellfire. He said, By God, thou wert about to deal me destruction. Had it not been for the divine blessing of my Lord, I would have been of the ones who were charged. Are we not then to be dead again but for our first death? And will we not be ones who were punished? Truly this it is the winning the sublime triumph. For the like of this, let the ones who work, work. Is this better as a welcome or the tree of Zakum? Truly, we made it a test for ones who are unjust. Truly, it is a tree that goes forth, its roots in hellfire. Its spathes have been like the heads of Satan, so truly they, they are ones who eat from it ones who fill their bellies with it. After that, truly on top of that for them is a brew of scalding water. After that, truly their return is to hellfire. They discovered their fathers, ones who go astray, yet they are running in their footsteps, and certainly went astray most of the ancient ones before them, and surely we had sent among them ones who warn. Then look on how had been the ultimate end of the ones who were warned, but the devoted servants of God. And certainly Noah had cried out to us, and how excellent were the ones who answer, and we delivered him and his people from tremendous distress, and we have made his offspring, they, the ones who remain, and we left for him to say among the later ones, Peace be on Noah among the worlds. Thus, we give recompense to the ones who are doers of good. Truly, he is one of our believing servants. After that, we drowned the others. And truly, among his partisans was Abraham. When he drew near to his Lord with a pure-hearted heart, when he said to his father and to his folk, What is it that you worship? A calumny that you want gods other than God? When then is your opinion about the Lord of the worlds? And he looked on them with a glimpse at the stars, and he said, Truly, I am ill. But they turned away from him as ones who drew back, and he turned upon their gods, then said, 
Will you not eat? Why speak you not for yourselves? Then he turned upon them, striking them with his right hand. Then the people came forward towards him, rushing. He said, Worship you what you yourselves carve out, while God created you, and what do you do? They said, Build for him a structure, then cast him into hell fire. So they wanted to use cunning against him, but we made them the lowest. He said, Truly, I am one who goes to my Lord. He will guide me. My Lord, bestow on me of the ones who are in accord with morality. So we gave him the good tidings of a forbearing boy. And when he reached maturity, endeavoring with him, he said, O oh, my son, truly I see while slumbering that I am sacrificing thee. So look on what thou hast considered. He said, O oh, my father, accomplish whatever thou art commanded. Thou shalt find me, if God willed, of the ones who remain steadfast. Then, when they had both submitted themselves, and he had flung him on his brow, we cried out to him, O oh, Abraham, surely thou hast established the dream as true. Thus, truly, we give recompense to the ones who are doers of good. Truly, that was certainly the clear trial. And then we took ransom for him with a sublime slaughter, and we left for him a good name with the later ones. Peace be on Abraham. Thus we give recompense to the ones who are doers of good. Truly he is one of our believing servants. And we gave him the good tidings of Isaac, a prophet among the ones who are in accord with morality. And we blessed him and Isaac, and of their offspring are ones who are doers of good, and ones who are clearly unjust to themselves. And certainly we showed our grace to Moses and Aaron, and we delivered them and their folk from the tremendous distress, and helped them so that they, they became the ones who are victors. And we gave them the manifest book, and guided them to the straight path. We left for them a good name with the later ones, peace beyond Moses and Aaron. Truly thus we give recompense to the ones who are doers of good. Truly they were of our believing servants. And truly Elias was of the ones who were sent when he said to his folk, Will you not be God-fearing? Will you call to Baal and forsake the fairest of ones who are the creators, God, your Lord, and the Lord of your ancient fathers? But they denied him, so they truly were ones who were charged. As for the devoted servants of God among them, we left for him a good name with the later ones, peace beyond Elias. Thus truly we give recompense to the ones who are doers of good. Truly he was of our believing servants. And truly Lot was of the ones who were sent. We delivered him and his people, one and all, but an old woman among the ones who stay behind. We destroyed the others after that, and truly you pass by them in that which is morning and at night. Will you not then be reasonable? And truly Jonah was of the ones who were sent when he fled from his people to the laden boat. He cast lots with them, and he had been of the ones who were refuted. Then the fish engulfed him, while he was one who is answerable. If he had not been of the ones who glorify, he would have lingered in expectation in its belly until the day they are raised up. Then we cast him forth on the naked shore while he was ill. We caused a plant of gourd to develop over him. We sent him to a community of a hundred thousand, or they even exceed that. And they had believed, so we gave them enjoyment for a while. Then ask them for advice. Are daughters for thy Lord and for them sons? Or created we female angels while they were ones who bear witness? Truly, it is out of their calumny that they say God has procreated, and truly they are ones who lie. Has he favored daughters over sons? What is the matter with you? How you give judgment? Will you not then recollect? Or is there for you a clear authority? 
then bring your book if you would be ones who are sincere and they have made between him and between the genies a kinship but surely the genies knew well that they were ones who were to be charged glory be to god from what they allege but not the devoted servants of god so truly you and those whom you worship will not be ones who are tempters against him but he who would be one who roasts in hell-fire there is not any of us but he has a known station and truly we are ones who are standing in ranks and truly we are the ones who glorify and truly they had been saying had there been with us a remembrance from the ancient ones we would have been servants of god ones who were devoted but they were ungrateful for it and they will know and certainly our word has proceeded for our servants the ones who were sent they truly they are ones who were to be helped and truly our armies are ones who are victors so turn you away from them for a while and perceive them and they will perceive are they impatient for our punishment then when it would come down into their courtyard how evil will be the morning daybreak of the ones who are warned so turn away from them for a while and perceive and they will perceive glory be to thy lord the lord of great glory from what they allege about him and peace be to the ones who were sent and the praise belongs to god the lord of the worlds chapter thirty eight sod in the name of god the merciful the compassionate sod by the quran possessor of the remembrance nay those who were ungrateful are in vain glory and breach how many before them have we caused to perish of generations and they cried out but there was no time for escape for a while and they marvelled that had drawn near them one who warns from among themselves and the ones who are ungrateful said this is one who is a sorcerer a liar has he made all gods one god truly this is an astounding thing and the council set out from them saying be gone and have patience with your gods truly this is a thing to be wanted we have not heard the like of this in the later creed this is only made-up tales was the remembrance only sent forth to him from among us nay they are in uncertainty about my remembrance nay they have not experienced my punishment or are they owners of the treasures of mercy of thy lord the almighty the giver or is theirs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and what is between them let them climb up with cords their army was one that was put to flight among the confederates the folk of noah before them denied and odd and pharaoh the possessor of the stakes and thalmud and a folk of lot and the companions of the woods those were the confederates all of them denied the messengers so my repayment was realized these expect not but one cry there was for it no delay and they said our lord quicken the sentence of the judge on us before the day of reckoning be patient with what they say and remember our servant david the possessor of potency truly he was penitent truly we caused the mountains to become subservient to glorify with him at evening and at the rising of the sun and the birds were ones who were assembled all were penitent to him and we empowered his dominion and gave him wisdom and decisiveness in argument has approached thee the tiding of the disputants when they climbed over the wall of a sanctuary when they entered in on david he was terrified of them they said fear not two disputants have been insolent one of us against the other so give judgment duly between us and transgress not and guide us to the right path truly this is my brother he has ninety-nine you while i have one you and he said place in it my charge and he triumphed over me in argument david said 
Certainly he has done wrong to thee in asking for thy you in addition to his ewes, and truly many partners in business are insolent one to another, except those who have believed, and the ones who have acted in accord with morality, and they are few. And David thought that we had tried him, and he asked for forgiveness of his Lord, and fell down as one who bows down penitent. So we forgave him that, and truly for him is a nearness to us, and a goodness of destination. O oh, David, truly we have made you a vice-regent on the earth, so give judgment duly among humanity, and follow not your desire, for it will cause you to go astray from the way of God. Truly those who go astray from the way of God, for them there is a severe punishment, because they forgot the day of reckoning. And we created not the heaven and the earth, and whatever is between the two in falsehood. That is the opinion of those who were ungrateful. Then woe to those who disbelieved in the fire. Or will we make those who have believed, and the ones who have acted in accord with morality, like the ones who make corruption in and on the earth? Or will we make the ones who are God-fearing as the ones who acted immorally? It is a blessed book that we have sent forth to thee so that they may meditate on its signs, and those imbued with intuition may recollect. And we have bestowed Solomon on David. How excellent a servant! Truly, he was penitent. When they were presented before him in the evening, steeds standing with one foot slightly raised, he said, Truly, I cherished and loved the good, instead of remembering my lord when the sun secluded itself behind the partition of the night. Return them to me. Then he took to wiping over their legs and their necks. And certainly we tried Solomon. We cast a body on his seat. After that he was penitent. He said, My lord, forgive me and bestow on me a dominion such will not be fit and proper to another after me. Truly thou art the giver. So we caused the wind to become subservient to him. It ran at his command, a gentle wind, wherever it lit. And we made subservient the Satans and every builder and diver and others, ones who were chained in chains. This is our gift. Then showest thou grace, or holdest back without reckoning. Truly, for him is a nearness with us, and a goodness of destination. And remember our servant Job, when he cried out to his Lord, Truly, Satan has afflicted me with fatigue and punishment. It was said, Stomp thy foot, this is a place of washing that is cool and from which to drink. And we bestowed on him his people and the like of them along with them as a mercy from us, a reminder for those imbued with intuition. And take in thy hand a bundle of rushes, and strike with it, and fail not thy oath. Truly we found him one who remains steadfast. How excellent a servant! Truly he was penitent. And remember our servants Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, all imbued with energy and insight. And truly we made them sincere with one who has a special quality, a reminder of the abode. And truly they are to us among ones who were favored and good. And remember Ishmael, Elisha, and Zulkif, all are among the good. This is a remembrance, and truly for ones who are God-fearing, this is certainly a goodly destination, the gardens of Eden, the doors, ones that are opened up for them. Ones who are reclining in them, they will call for many sweet fruits and drink in it, and with them will be ones who are of restraining glances, persons of the same age. This is what you are promised for the day of reckoning. Truly, this is our provision. For it, there is no coming to an end. This is so. And truly, for ones who are defiant, there will be a worse destination, hell, where they will roast, 
and miserable is that cradling. This is so. Then let them experience this scalding water and filth and other torment of a like kind in pairs. This is an army unit, one that rushes in with you. There is no welcome for them. Truly, they are ones who will roast in the fire. They said, Nay, you, there is no welcome for you. It is you who put this forward on us. So miserable is the stopping place. They said, Our Lord, whoever put this forward for us, increase him with a double punishment in the fire. And they said, What is the matter with us that we see not men whom we had been numbering among the worst? Have we taken them to ourselves as a laughing stock, or has our sight swerved from them? Truly, this is true of the disagreement of the people of the fire. Say, I am only one who warns, and there is no God but God, the One, the Omniscient, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, and whatever is between them, the Almighty, the Forgiver. Say, it is a serious tiding from which you are ones who turn aside. I have had no knowledge of the lofty counsel when they were striving against one another. It is revealed to me only that I am a warner, one who makes clear. Thy Lord said to the angels, Truly I create a mortal from clay. So when I have shaped him and breathed into him my spirit, then fall to him, ones who prostrate themselves. So the angels prostrated one and all all together, but Iblis, he grew arrogant, and had been among the ones who were ungrateful. He said, O oh, Iblis, what prevented thee from prostrating to what I created with my two hands? Hast thou grown arrogant, or hast thou been among the ones who exalt themselves? Iblis said, I am better than he, Thou hast created me from fire, while thou hast created him from clay. He said, Then go forth from here, for truly thou art accursed, and truly on thee is my curse until the day of judgment. Iblis said, My lord, then give me respite until the day to be raised up. He said, Truly thou art among the ones who are given respite until the day of the known time. Iblis said, by thy great glory, then I will certainly lead them one and all into error, but thy devoted servants among them. He said, This is the truth, and the truth I say, that I will fill hell with thee and with one and all of those who heed thee. Say, I ask of you not for any compensation for this, nor am I among the ones who take things upon themselves. It is nothing other than a remembrance for the worlds, and you will certainly know its tidings after a while. Chapter 39 The Troops In the Name of God, the Merciful, the Compassionate Descending down successively of this book is from God, the Almighty, the Wise. Truly, we have sent forth to thee the book with the truth, so worship God, as one who is sincere and devoted in the way of life to him. Certainly the way of life is exclusively for God. And those who take to themselves protectors other than him say, We worship them not, but that they may bring us near to God. Truly God gives judgment between them about what they were at variance in it. Truly God guides not him, one who lies and is an ingrate. Had God wanted to take to himself a son, he would have favored from what he creates of what he wills. Glory be to him. He is God, the one, the omniscient. He has created the heavens and the earth with the truth. He wraps the nighttime around the daytime and wraps the daytime around the nighttime. And he has caused to become subservient the sun and the moon, each running for a term that was determined. Is he not the Almighty, the forgiving? He creates you from one soul. After that, he made its mate from it, and he has sent forth for you eight pairs of flocks. He creates you in the wombs of your mothers, 
creation after creation in threefold shadows such is god your lord his is the dominion there is no god but he why then are you turned away if you are ungrateful truly god is independent of you and he is not well pleased with ingratitude from his servants and if you give thanks he will be well pleased with you no burdened soul will bear the heavy load of another then to your lord is the return so he will tell you what you have been doing truly he is knowing of what is in the breasts and when some harm afflicts the human being he calls to his lord as one who turns in repentance to him then when he grants him divine blessing from himself he forgot that for which he had been calling to him before and he lays on rivals to god to cause others to go astray from his way say take joy in your ingratitude for a while truly thou art of the companions of the fire is he one who is morally obligated during the night watch one who prostrates himself or one who is standing up in prayer being fearful of the world to come and hoping for the mercy of his lord say are those who know on the same level as those who know not only those imbued with intuition recollect say o oh my servants who have believed be god-fearing of your lord for those who do good in the present there is benevolence and the earth of god is that which is extensive only ones who remain steadfast will have their compensation paid in full without reckoning say truly i was commanded to worship god one who is sincere and devoted in the way of life to him and i was commanded to be the first of the ones who submit say truly i fear if i rebel against my lord the punishment of a tremendous day say god alone i worship as one sincere and devoted in the way of life to him so worship what you will other than him say truly the ones who are losers are those who have lost themselves and their people on the day of resurrection truly that is a clear loss they will have overshadowings above from the fire and beneath them overshadowings with that god frightens his servants o oh, my servants be god-fearing of me and those who avoid false deities so that they should not worship them and are penitent to god for them are good tidings so give good tidings to my servants those who listen to the saying of the koran and follow the fairest of it those are they whom god has guided and those they are imbued with intuition against whom is realized the word of punishment will he who is in the fire be saved by thee but those who were god-fearing of their lord for them are the highest chambers with the highest chambers built above them beneath which rivers run this is the solemn declaration of god god never replaces his promise hast thou not considered that god sent forth water from heaven and threaded fountains in the earth then brings out crops by it of hues ones that are at variance after that they wither so thou seest them as ones that were growing yellow then he makes them chaff truly in this is a reminder for those imbued with intuition is he whose breast has expanded for submission in a light from his lord so woe to those whose hearts are hardened against the remembrance of god they are clearly going astray god has sent down the fairest discourse a book one that is consistent in its often repeated parts of the koran by which shiver the skins of those who dread their lord their skins and their hearts become gentle with the remembrance of god that is the guidance of god with it he guides whom he wills and whomever god causes to go astray there is not for him any one who guides is he then one who fends off the terrible punishment with his face on the day of resurrection and it will be said to the ones who are unjust 
experience what you have been earning. Those before them denied, and so the punishment approached them from where they were not aware. So God caused them to experience degradation in this present life, but the punishment of the world to come is greater had they been knowing. And certainly we have propounded for humanity in this, the Quran, every kind of parable, so that perhaps they would recollect an Arabic recitation without any crookedness, so that perhaps they would be God-fearing. God propounded a parable of a man owned by quarreling ascribed associates, and a man owned entirely by one man. Are those two equal in comparison? The praise belongs to God, but most of them know not. Truly thou art mortal, and truly they are mortal. Then truly on the day of resurrection before your Lord you will strive against one another.'